Hi hey, YouTubers, you've reached Rico's channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to estimate the age of a ringneck parrot. Now, the reason why I say estimate is it's really difficult to tell the age of a ringneck parrot because they don't show the obvious signs as we as humans do. The only way you will know 100% is if you are provided with the documents of when your ringneck parrot was born. But there are some visual things that you can look for. I'm going to provide you with two pictures, which are the easiest ones, which are the eyes and the feet. But before I do that, there are some other things that you can look for, which are is the one obvious one is once they're fully matured and you have a male it will have developed the full black ring and it starts to develop at around 17 to 18 months the female will not have the black ring but it'll be very faint you barely won't see it but again once you get into the mutation parrots it becomes a bit more difficult and that's why I say the best thing to do is stick to the eyes and feet you can also look at the plumage the feathers a younger Indian ringneck parrot who has not molted yet will have duller feathers and compared to a matured parrot who has fully molted and it'll be shinier and also the younger parrot will not have a long tail in comparison to the matured ringneck parrot who has molted and has changed its feathers and is much more vibrant. So in the two more pictures, I'm going to show you the difference and what to look for with the eyes and the feet to estimate the age of your ringneck parrot. So these are the two pictures that I have provided you with. I have Jojo who's on the left and she is a 16 year old female and I have Rico on the right and he is four months old. So before I do start to talk about the eyes, I'm gonna have you look at Jojo and look at that faint ring that I was talking about around her neck. You can very sl slightly see it. it's not a black ring, but it's a very faint. And that's what I was talking about with the females because the juveniles will not have that, the younger parrots, if they're still younger. Now we're going to talk about the eyes. So if you have a parrot who is usually four months and younger, you're going to have their eyes are going to be full black, just like in Rico's picture. And as they start to age and turn around one years old, you will see the white ring, the iris, which comes out, which is the white in their eye. Now, when you have mutation parrots, like Rico is, it becomes a little bit more difficult. And this is where I'm going to show you is just focus on that orange around their eyes. That's the easiest thing to figure out. As you can see in Rico's picture, it's a lot duller in comparison to Jojo's picture and he was four months old. And as time goes on, it will start to develop and that orange will become more and more vibrant as they get older. Around one years old, it will have maybe fully developed, but as they age, that orange will become more vibrant and stand out more. And that's why I think the easiest thing to look for is that orange ring around their eyes. You can also look at their beaks, but again, that's where it becomes difficult because not all ringneck parrots get the bottom black beak as they start to mature. So that's why I say just focus on the eyes. And in the other video I'll show you is the feet. So these are the pictures I'm providing you of their feet. Again, we have Jojo who's on the left, which is much more matured in her late years, and Rico, who in this video was about four months old. So I know it's difficult to tell with the feet, and that's why I always say stick to the eyes, but if you do have a ringneck parrot who is in their later years, just like Jojo is, you will see the scaly feet and their feet in comparison if you look at a younger parrot like Rico's you will not have that scaly feet so as a parrot starts to age just like we do almost like wrinkles you will see that they will have the very scaly feet again this is usually when they really start to hit the later years of their life so probably as they get older like past 10 you'll slowly start to see it um and then as they hit like 15 16 17 that's when it's very noticeable in comparison to the younger juvenile parrots so that's really it like i said you can look for the feet the beak 
you can look for the plumage which is the feathers and you can look for the eyes which I think is the easiest thing and that's really it unless you're provided with the papers this is just to estimate where you can kind of more or less try to figure out how old your ringneck parrot is or if you're looking to adopt one trying to figure out their age but again it's just to estimate so if you're looking to purchase one that is younger than say six months old look at the eyes the plumage um and that's really it i hope that helps if you have any questions leave me a comment and i'll do my best to help you out okay thanks for watching bye for now